Hello, I'm Emma Howard and I'm joined by Dr Sue Laurent, who's a consultant paediatrician at Barnet Hospital in Hertfordshire. Hello Sue. Hi Emma. Got a question here from, I think, someone who's about to have a baby, wants to know why all newborn babies are given vitamin K. Is it safe? She wants to know. And should I choose for it to be given by mouth rather than by injection? Because there are two ways of getting vitamin K into a newborn, aren't there? There are, there are. First of all, most new babies don't need vitamin K, but we give it to all new babies because there is a rare condition which is called hemorrhagic disease of the newborn, which means that a few very unfortunate babies can have a severe hemorrhage and can cause something like a stroke. So in order to ensure that all babies have enough vitamin K, we give it to them all. And vitamin K is a natural substance? It's a natural substance we all have. And but we all need. And a newborn needs a bit of extra. A newborn may have a rather low level to begin with, rarely. And, and the second part of the question is how to give it. How to give it. Well, my recommendation is strongly give it all by a single injection at birth. All three of my babies had it like that. There was, a few years ago, a thought that there may be a link between giving vitamin K by injection and leukaemia. This has now been shown internationally around the world to be a false link. It does not, there is no connection between the two. And for a while, therefore, people were worrying about whether they should give it by mouth. If you give it by mouth, you have to give it and keep giving it because it doesn't stay around in the body for enough. And there is an increased danger if you don't remember to give it by mouth that you may land up having a baby with a hemorrhage. So my recommendation is strongly just give it as an injection. So is it relevant what kind of birth you may have had? If it's been simple and straightforward, would you need vitamin K as much as if the birth had been more difficult, the baby had been pushed and squeezed down the birth canal and you'd be worried about hemorrhaging? No, it's not relevant at all. It's all babies need vitamin K. The only question would be a baby who'd had a difficult time, particularly a premature baby, might need a bit of extra vitamin K. Which you would give? Which we would give in the, premature, in the neonatal unit. Yes. So you're advice every time is have it and have it as an injection. Have it and have it as an injection, get it over and done with, then it's, you haven't got to worry about it. Sue, good advice, thank you very much indeed. And if you have a similar problem, we hope we might have given you some help. But remember, it's always best to go and see your own doctor for medical advice. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more health questions and answers.